What's up, guys? So, where can I get a phone that has 4G in the United States? Dual cameras, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, a back panel that makes the Galaxy S10 look really cheap, a quad core processor with 64 gig of RAM, and dual SIM support. So, yeah, what's up guys? English Dan, back again with another video. Trying to pump these out a little bit quicker, so you're gonna see a couple this week. Um, so yeah, all those things for 200 bucks, that just doesn't sound right. Well, it is right. And you can buy it right now for $199.95 a bargain. I mean, it's an absolute bargain. It's got a 5.7 inch HD screen that looks really good, but it really does look really good. And I'll get more into that in a little while. But yeah, let's get into this. This is the new mobile G3 Plus, the Plus version, in a beautiful Onyx Black. So we'll get into unboxing it. Let's have a look what you get. All right, so straight away, you can see the box there and my dog in the corner. There's the Onyx Black G3 Plus looks beautiful on the box straight away. It's like a box within a box, so the box slides out of the outer sleeve. And then you've got the main box inside. So you just put the outer sleeve to one side. It's just a like a matte black box. You can see on the front, to spin it round, it's got the new mobile like, embossed logo on there. Pull the lid off. First thing you're gonna see is uh, have questions or concerns, you want you to be able to get hold of them, they give you all their social media there, and obviously a thanks for buying the phone. Same thing again, but in Spanish. Um, so yeah, they're you know, multilingual in the box. That's pretty good that they've done that. You also get stickers, like another company, who don't charge $200 for a phone. Oh, look at that, lovely new mobile stickers. And then obviously, there's the phone. Just get that out out of the way we'll see what else is in the box take off the top cover and there's your uh, getting started nobody ever uses also comes with a TPU case clear case phone doesn't cut out very well but <clears throat> whatever but look yeah I mean it's nothing great but it comes in the box with a $200 phone and it protects from scratch so you know it's great like that. then you get your charger which is the wall plug Let's see mobile set right on it so we know what it's for what else do we get in here so pull this out oh yeah and it's USB-C and there's no headphone jack but it does come with the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter dongle so if you do use wired they've at least provided that in the box unlike some other cell phone that you can pay eleven hundred dollars for then you get your sim tool it's got a really long stem on this sim tool really long um, a regular sim tool won't work on this phone you have to use their own it's a lot longer than a normal one so yeah just be warned don't lose it maybe a paper clip would do it and then also in here you get the USB-C cable that's right a $200 phone with USB-C it's crazy right let's take this out it's quite a decent length as well it's a thick cable you know, it's not one of these thin flimsy ones you get see USB-C, bravo, new mobile, that's fantastic. So we pick up the phone and on the front here it shows you it's got the 5.7 inch HD display. And then, hi dog, hear the dog behind me. Uh, you get powered by the P25 Octa-Core processor, it's got 4G LTE that works in the United States, 4 gig of RAM, fingerprint sensor and a real dual camera. The dual camera is a real one. And then it just has the unlock phones made better by new. Obviously you can see the sensor at the top, the speaker, forward facing flash, pull this off, you can see the screen there, looks really smart with it being all black, you know, you don't see much of the bezels. Then on the back, showing you SIM 1, SIM 2, or if you take an SD card, so yeah, you're getting a lot of bang for your book with this. Now, this is just looking back on this, uh, is it? I mean, wow. This is the Onyx Black, it only comes in the G3 Plus version and it's absolutely amazing. Let's power it on and see what happens. So, 
be met with a splash screen because I've already set this up. It's going to tell me that I need to put my pin code into Star Android. That's something you can disable if you need to. I don't know why I've just always done it for some reason. A bit of extra safety in case you lose your phone. So yeah, put it up now. But as you can see the screen's really nice and bright. So we'll just pull that. I put a generic pin number in. So done. I'm going to reboot again. I don't. See, really bright lights, it's got really good colors on this, and it's really, really, really bright screen. It's so easy to see. And like I say, it's only a 720p screen, but you can't tell. It's such, look at it, it's so vibrant. Look at the colors come through and everything. It's not pixelated. I mean, you'd have to put it right up to your face to see any pixels. But yeah, there it is. A bit blown out at the moment because I need to turn down that brightness. So you can see it, but yeah, there you go. You can see the menus drop down, everything works really well. Back to the back, and look at that thing. That's just awesome. That is amazing, thank you for your book. I just, I can't believe that they would be able to make something like this and be able to charge such little money. So yeah, you got a first look at that and um, an unboxing. So now you know what you're gonna get when you get the G3 Plus. So let's talk a little bit more about the phone itself. So let's talk about the fingerprint sensor. It's on the back, it's not under the screen or anything, which isn't to be expected at this price point, but it's a really decent uh, fingerprint sensor. Anyway, so here's a, a quick look of how quick it works. So press, bang, it comes on. It's not the fastest, but it's quick. You know, it's not gonna, it's not like the S10's ultrasonic that doesn't want to work half the time, and then when it does, it lags. Seem to be any better for me, so yeah, as you can see here, works just fine, it's not a problem. So, let's talk about day to day performance what it's going to be like when you're using the phone and things like that. You know, like I mentioned before, it doesn't lag or anything, as you can see here. Pull down the settings, go through the settings menu, everything's pretty stuck. You know, that's one thing I do like about it. It's Android 8.0, I believe it's going to be upgraded to 9. Don't take my word on that just something I've read I'm pretty sure that they're gonna try and get it onto Android 9 which is great for again a phone in this price bracket to even be supported like that that would be awesome but as you can see it flips through the menus and the settings no problems things like that has a lot of different things can change a lot of different settings there's a little bit of customization in there but they've not gone like kitchen sink like LG and give you a ton of pointless apps that you just don't need with it. See, 64 gig of storage and it shows you your battery and all that, just like it does on any other Android. Has Android Beam as well, so easy for sharing and things like that. The phone's got everything. It also has NFC, so you've got Google Pay on this thing. It's pretty good. So, yeah, as you can see, through the settings, it performs quite well. There's quite a lot you can do with the phone. It's pretty good. Now, let's talk about that camera. Camera's pretty decent. For a $200 phone, you can't go wrong. So, opening it up, as you can see here, there's the user interface. There is something that really does bug me out. Look, as you can see, it's taking pretty decent pictures. Flash works great, things like that. Turn the flash off. Take some pretty good pictures from the front. Now, one thing that does really right on my nerves is the menu system. And you'll see that in a minute. Taking some really good pictures. There you go. Looks good on the screen and it looks pretty good on like a, a bigger display. The camera isn't really shabby. No image stabilization or anything, but again, not to be expected. But the camera does produce some pretty good pictures. Great for your social media and things like that. But yeah, when it comes to the menu, I can't swipe across. I don't know why they did this. You have to press on each one to move across to the different sub menu. It's why? Why? But yeah, that's my biggest gripe about this phone actually, is the fact that you have to do that to move across the menus. It is pretty annoying. I mean, you don't have to go one by one. You can, you know, skip a few, but it'd be so much easier if you could swipe. Then the front facing camera isn't bad neither. It's not the best, but it's also not bad. I've used the G3 Plus for about two weeks now, and I've had no issues whatsoever with it when it comes to performance. It's not laggy, you can play games on it. I'm not much of a gamer when it comes to mobile gaming, but you can play games on it. 
can play PUBG and things like that, no problem. The P25 MediaTek processor has not got an issue. The GPU paired with it, it just works absolutely fine. You're getting above average performance out of this for below average price, which is amazing, really. Then, when it comes to like daily tasks, multitasking, switching through screens, things like that, it really isn't an issue. It looks great, it, it's so smooth. You wouldn't believe that it was a $200 phone that you got in your hand. I can't say it enough that this phone is $200 and it performs like an absolute champ. It looks absolutely amazing. It's a, if you're looking for a cheap phone, or a phone for your kids, or something like that, or even just a backup phone, or you're looking for a phone for yourself that looks great, but you don't want to spend the earth, this is the phone for you. And like I say, when you look at the back of the phone, you've got that back panel with that finish on the back. Now the back is plastic, but you can't tell. It's just, I mean, that finish on the back, that puts so many phones to shame when it comes to cell phone design. It's just great. So what do me and the little guy think of the phone? What do you think of the phone, Ralph? What do you think of that new mobile G3? I agree. See, he loves it too. It's a fantastic device. You're not going to be wasting your money. It's worth every penny of the 199. Absolutely every penny. See, he loves it. Even the dog loves it. Look at the dog. Get away, dog. Anyway. Yeah. If you're looking for an inexpensive phone with premium looks and really good performance, the new mobile G3 Plus is more than what you need. Fantastic device, I can't recommend it enough. Remember, it works on T-Mobile, Metro PCS, AT&T, anything GSM, no Verizon or Sprint, but yeah, anything GSM it's gonna work on. Anyway, this is me and the boy, signing out.